Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. I've been thinking about what to do with this situation, where this guy inherited and he had absolutely zero reason why he should inherit. I believe he inherited because he was a proper vassal of the people underneath them. Like he he was a vassal that what like held like a county but was not actually a house. I believe that's why he inherited. Now I was going to console command it so that we took control, but here's my problem with console commanding it. Essentially, it's because he was a custom court. If he wasn't a custom courtier, I could just kill him and then we would inherit. Maybe. Like, we could force that to happen. However, because he is a custom courtier, I don't really just want to kill him, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to kill him in-game. Or we're going to do the same thing that we just did, but to this person. It's not great, but it's the option that we're left with. Oh wow, I just suddenly realized if I hold shift here, it goes up by so much more. This makes uh, putting in campaign funds a lot easier. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, let's spy on the new person. There we are. I was half expecting it to say, oh, you're already spying on this person. Even though we'd never interacted with him. Uh, we could try killing him with just a little bit of plot power, but I'm not that interested in it just now. I and my trusted snoops and snakes will keep a very close eye on the activities of Iron King Jaycar of the Iron Isles at Los Eye indeed. I wonder what he's hiding. Yup, let's see what we can do. Ethan Wilson wishes me to join him with, on the council. What's he vote for? Ethan Wilson, Leisure's council, he votes for Pragmatist. What do we vote for, usually? We have a vote, right? I thought we did, yeah. We're, prag we're set to Pragmatist by default. Sure, we'll accept. Like, we vote for pretty much the same things, in theory. But we get a favor. Which is nice. Uh, oh, and then tax law changed. Okay, so he was trying to get us to vote for uh, our Iron King. Now, how many men does he have? This Harlot Iron King. 4,000. Mm, we could definitely do that. This is possible. We have enough people under our side, but we have to wait for this Lannister war to end. They're kind of just sitting on our territory. I was trying to get them to see if there was a siege. They're not even sieging. They're just sitting and waiting. Uh, I'm not having much luck spying on Iron King. Jaycar, perhaps I should focus my efforts elsewhere. Uh, I'm sure he's up to something. Yep. News of unrest in Lannisport. The steward of Lannisport has been trying to squeeze out for taxes out of the population, but the peasants have been resisting and are arming themselves. Vizera Targaryen was trying to get some more taxes and they didn't like it. Oh well. New Lord Commander on the wall. We have Lord Commander Gawain Stark. Alright. Cool. Uh, Lord Marwyn of the Vale has been released from the dungeons. Um, he still holds the Green Fork. You okay? Uh, under my guidance, my young courtier Lauren is slowly mastering art of swordsmanship. We should not be educating Lauren or his sisters, who were all educating. Yeah. Uh, let's set these given proper educators. So, uh, you are probably going to be educated to Marshall. Let's drop you with a Marshall person. There you go. How about a Targaryen? Perfect. You, you can be educated in diplomacy. Let's drop you someone who's good with diplomacy. How about this person here from um, with a very, very long name? Uh, and you, you are kind of diplomacy. Let's give you diplomacy. Uh, let's give you diplomacy. How about um, trained by the servants in the court and we'll give you uh, somebody like Edmund. There we are. Perfect. Now we don't have to educate them. Because it's just that we control someone who they were underneath. Anyway. Right, we need a child to be educated. We've got Othel Pike here. Um, looks like he's kind of martial, so we'll give him a martial education. Oh, he's also got pneumonia. That's not good. Very, very not good for Othel Pike. We'll get him educated by Roderick Cravens. There we are. That'll work. What else have we got? Important decisions. Demand his abdication. Sure, could do that. Got a lot of people. We're basically just, we're still waiting for the Lannister army, aren't we? Yeah. It's not really a lot to do. We do have some righteous imprisonments we could do while we wait. Uh, we'll keep trying to spy on Jaycar. I'm sure he's up to something. 
Um, so we got Shreya the Unfaithful. She's just unfaithful. Um, Roderick is trying to kill someone. That definitely goes against our sense of just. So I guess we'll imprison him. Hmm. Well, we should have checked whether he was a known mur like he was a known uh, potential murderer before sending someone over there. But yeah, he has fled to the court of Captain Tymond. Next one, uh, Torgrim Snow is trying to kill his wife. Definitely not okay. Next one, Shri. Uh, is that all of them? Oh, you're also trying to kill someone. You're trying to kill Sarah in prison. Right. Are we done? We are indeed done. Right. Let's uh, get some trials going. Let's do Gloria of Hearst first. Gloria of Hearst has demanded a trial before the court, which Hagen shall over and see to ensure justice is served. She begins to present her defense, but the court did not seem impressed. She got a very unconvincing, nervous figure. Hagen stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many at court were convinced by his arguments, but then again, many were seemed unimpressed. A verdict has been reached. Hagen proclaims Gloria of House Hearst is guilty. Hmm. Well, head on a spike seems like the best option here. Uh, oh, we should probably do our... I was about to say, we should probably do our other one. Your prisoner, Torgrim Bolton, has requested an audience with you. Upon meeting with him before the court, you hear he is offering to pay uh, the ransom for his release personally. No, because you're going to have a trial. Torgrim Snow has demanded a trial before the court, which Hagen shall oversee to ensure justice is served. He uh, begins to present his defense, but the court did not seem impressed. He cut a very unconvincing, nervous figure. Hagen stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many at court were convinced by his arguments that again and again, many were unimpressed. A verdict has been reached. Hagen proclaims Torgrim of House Bolton is guilty. Head on the spike. <laughs> Goodbye, Torgrim Bolton. He had one child, Hera Bolton. Okay. Um, not much else that we need to do right now. We're just waiting for us to lose this war over Castle Rock. And then we can actually get to uh, our own war. Now, our leash does have a lot more men than us. Oh, he doesn't. He has much less men than we have. Wow. Okay. This is going to be a very easy war once this ends. Uh, to the glorious Lord Master Josran, peace be with you. I've said to offer you the position of commander. Do you accept? No. We're slothful. We're not going to do anything we don't have to do. Like we're, we're slothful and this is just extra work for no reason. This seems foolish. Please don't siege uh, South uh, Gate Down. That's our land. We're going to lose all of our men that we've got in our levy. Uh, in South Gate, over here. Actually, we don't have that many men in the levy. You can take it. I hate my life. I really do. We gain depressed. Oh. Well, that's not good at all. Is we're depressed because we can't do anything. Now all of our plans are failing. Lord Alan of Tarth has usurped the Lordship of Dark's Grave from Cassandra Muscoot. So the Tarth's taking land from the Muscoots. Okay. And next month on, uh, Lord Jaharis of the Rose Road has died. Uh, still waiting for Castle Rock. Um, what's going on for this war score? Uh, it's because a few battles and a few occupations have been won. Okay, that's why they we, they don't have 100%. They will a after sieging our land, which is unfortunate because we might get imprisoned. But we'll have to deal with that if it happens. I found out nothing new and useful about Iron King Jakar of the Iron Isles, but as my shady informant pointed out, there is nothing present preventing me from making stuff up. The bigger the lie. How about the classic? He takes little boys to bed. Of course we're going to lie. We're deceitful. Yes. Did he find out it was us? I don't think he did. And he does have the vicious rumours against him. Uh, what's his opinion of us? Uh, uh, okay, his opinion of us is Lord Executed Realm Subject. Fair enough, fair enough. That's um, acceptable. And we get an autosave. And we're waiting for this... this come on, battle. I was like... Uh, I was... Um, like when it actually hovers over the thing without even just let the province, but that's fine. Uh, fate smiles upon me. My wife, Jane, is pregnant. Oh, fantastic. What have we got here? Minor title. Ooh, a bodyguard. Who died? Um. Oh, maybe Roderick Cravens was our bodyguard? That could be it. Uh, and he just left our court. Or Torgrim Snow. Both of them could have been bodyguards. Uh, Alice is 17 
1.5. Wow, she's probably our bodyguard. I would hazard a guess that. Yeah, okay, Alice, you can be our bodyguard. That's fine. We'll keep that going. Your Excellency, I grieve to report that Sir Quentin's men have caused much damage to the castle and countryside. Uh, after their siege of Southgate. Oh, there goes all of our stuff in Southgate. No. No. 100% war score and the war should be over. Yes, it is. Okay. We have less men than our leech right now. He has 2.2k and we have 600. However, we have some potential faction members. We have another 700 uh, and a whole zero. Because one of our ones is Jaycar Soar we have a favor with. Hmm. I don't know if we can do anything with that favor. We could always try claiming things and seizing things, but there's not a lot we can actually do. It's very annoying. But we will eventually uh, work out a way. Oh, we got another person on this list. Another two. You're just trying to replace someone as captain of the fleet. That is fine. Uh, you're trying to kill Bearer of Hearse. Sheer, sheer the Unfaithful. Uh, no, we're imprisoning you. She's now locked away safely in my dungeons, awaiting her fate. Hmm. Does she have a dragon egg? Can we just take that from her? Nope. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to call her for a trial. There we go. See what she says. She heard the unfaithful has demanded trial before the court, which Hagen shall oversee to ensure justice is served. She begins to present her defense, but the court did not seem impressed. She got a very unconvincing and nervous figure. Hagen stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many at court were convinced by his arguments, but then again, many seemed unimpressed. A verdict has been reached. Sierra of House E-Star is guilty. Head on a spike. It's the punishment. She is guilty. Did her husband get her dragon egg? No. Did her child get her dragon egg? Yes. Hella Hill got her dragon egg, which is Hagen Maring's um, daughter. Interesting. We'll see how that goes for them. Maester Olvar is no longer our healer because he is dead, or our maester. Presumably that's meant to say. New council position. Uh, we need a new maester. Edmund. Edmund, you're the last of our surviving maesters. Make sure that you're good. Okay. Uh, what we should probably also do is we change our captain of the fleet from training children to training troops in... Probably Southgate. Yes, definitely Southgate. Uh, because it has the most men that can be re-raised. Now we'll just wait for that to happen. We do need more men before we can declare on our leash. It's just not feasible right now with two, uh, 600 because we won't actually be able to siege it. Oh, what's this war? This is the Seastone Isles Irelander du jour war over Orkmont. Ah, I see. Well, they do have more men. We don't quite have enough men to do anything, but we they have more men. Our hauls of fish were drastically low lately, so I came up with a scheme to start cultivating the land. This uh, fed the small folk well, but the Iron King, Jaker of the Allen Isles, was livid, saying this is not the old win. I should cease immediately. Hmm. Uh, this way is folly, so we get a chance of cynical and a chance of stressed. Did we get either? No. We're just depressed. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Keep going. Keep going. Anything else? Just um, waiting for an opportunity. Hagen has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many uh, tasks in the aid of Olmark. It would be seen as the right and honourable course to reward him certain incomes and grants as to foster greater loyalty. Definitely. I mean, we have the money and he's our friend. I don't see a reason why we wouldn't do this. Your drowned man reports some land support that his charity work on your behalf. Seeding well, the poor being fed, your past uh, standing has improved. Good. Good. I'm not having much luck spying on the Iron King, but he must be up to something. Any more righteous imprisonment? No. Um, still discontent. Important decisions are available, uh, but it's the same one we've always had. We still have the characters there. We're, we're the only faction in the Iron Isles as well, out of curiosity. So he's just declared for Orkment, right? Yeah, so no, no big deal. We can always go and get that back if we get control again. Alright. Uh, it's turning colder and colder. The people of Walmart can no longer work the field. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Bad. Very bad. Uh, this is even worse. Hagen Maring was just... Like, he was just uh, assassinated. 
Oh no, that is definitely, he's our friend. Uh, Lord Master Jostaran of Volmark, your Castilian, uh, Hagen Maring, was killed by armed thugs when investigating rumour of a plot in Lannisport. Oh no, horrible. Exactly. We need a new Lord Stuart, who needs to be equal in stewardship and diplomacy. Uh, Kozar of North seems great. Yeah, Kozar of North, you are now our, um, our steward, and we will send you to oversee our main province in Southgate. And we have a minor title that we need to give to a bodyguard, and we will give that to... Let's see. Was there not one we had at 11? I think it might have been Gurmund. Gurmund, perfect. Yes, you shall be our next bodyguard. Okay. Lord Master Jostren, after consultation with my council, I've decided to enact a law change to the rules of succession in Lannisport. Succession shall be hereby determined by agnatic cognatic inheritance, which uh, male heir is being preferred to female heirs. Oh, okay. A son was born to us, and Jane Bobber named Quentin. So Quentin Serpentail. Good, good. Keep that going. Uh, anything else we need to do here? Doesn't look like it. My new courtier, Mega, is a charitable little rascal, and she just gave her newest toy to the Smith's son. Uh, Mega up here is, um, why am I educating her? We're, oh, because he's already been abandoned from court. He's been sent away. I forgot that. So we're educating both of them, actually. Uh, her and her sister, aren't we? Oh, no, she's away off in, uh, oh, she's off in Volantis with the uh, others. Oh, or Tyrosh, I guess. One odd person. He's Tyroshi. Worships Tyrosh gods, but of Volantis. Weird. Anyway, um, Mega, let's, uh, well, we're charitable. She's turning out well, I guess. We're happy with her upbringing. Much better than if that Piera guy was to do it. Oh, who died? That's, uh, Mavery died stillborn. Okay, one of a twin. You okay? And, um, I don't have much luck spying. We'll keep doing that. I think we're going to end the episode a little bit early. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.